Hi guys, if you're a small business or a tradie, I've just made a small Excel sheet, which might be useful for you. Um, so let's get into it. This talks about your revenue and your sales funnel. So let's get into it. On the left here is your goals. These are your financial goals, not your bodybuilding goals or your other goals, personal goals, um, relationship goals, none of that. Just your financial goals. Don't spend too much time, stick something in there. Over here will be your historic data. This uh, will be your sales, cost of sales, other expenses, uh, less cost of sale, less other expenses, you can see the operating profit, and then less depreciation, uh, interest, to your gross profit, and that's GP. Some people don't know what GP is, it's gross profit, and then your GP percentage. So let's just run through the numbers. So let's, uh, I've just, I've done last six years. And these numbers are just made up, just for ease of calculation. And I've also done an example to show you that if you've had a shit year, I probably just ignore the data to make it easier. You don't want it distorting the averages. But what we have here is, uh, let's say your sales on a particular year was 6 million. And your cost of sales, whatever they were, like I said, this will all work out and give you a GP percentage. That's the important part that we are actually after. So I'll just uh, change that back. I think that's where we were okay so go back enter your last uh, two years three years four years whatever data you have enter it in here it'll work out your average <coughs> for the time frame it'll also work out your move this other way average gp over that period and your average uh, percentage gp which is important also will be useful to actually put down here sometimes you have a shit year and your gp is quite low for example here then you just put down what particular jobs you had done to get you those numbers. And if you have, uh, say, a particularly good year, put down some of those um, projects there. You don't have to list all the jobs, um, just some highlight ones, what you would like to do more of and what you would like to do less of. Okay, that's the idea. Anyway, then we go across to here. This is all automated, so that'll pick up your average revenue for from your last two, three, four, five, whatever number of years you choose to use and your average GP again from here, and then your average uh, actual dollar value GP, which it uh, has worked out as well, and it's picking up from here. Then what you want to do is, again, you're only entering data in the blue cells. I think I might have mentioned that before. So you, you, we know where we've come from. We now want to know where we're going. You decide how much do you want your revenue to grow by next year? It could be 10%, 20%, could be 100%, I don't know. Um, only you can put those numbers in. So let's say you wanted your revenue growth to be 10% and your gross profit margin previously was averaging 12%. You might say times are a bit tough, my GP might come down or times are really good, my GP might go up. So whatever it is, you can change these numbers as you please. And then that'll spit out what your gross profit will be based on the revenue growth that you are wanting. So if you get a 20% target revenue growth, you will need $7.2 million worth of revenue target for the following year. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now we jump down onto the next tab that tells us what do these numbers actually look like? What is the volume? Next tab, your target revenue based on 20% growth on the previous sheet gets you $7.2 million as a target and your strike rate this is important strike rate is how many jobs are you winning are you if you're winning if you price 10 jobs you win one job your strike rate is 10 percent if you are pricing 100 jobs and you're winning 10 jobs that's again 10 percent okay simple your volume funnel volume so this is why the strike rate is important in order to win 7.2 million dollars worth of work if you're winning one in ten you will need a volume of work of 72 million um, that sounds quite high but that's it's just for demonstration purposes now what does it actually mean in practice it means you will need leads how many leads do you need so you need volume as a dollar value you need 72 million dollars worth of work that you need to be pricing so how are you going to price that you can price 10 jobs at 7.2 million, simple mathematics. 
10 times 7.2, that's your 72 million, your target. You could price 20 jobs at 3.6 million. You can price 30 jobs at 2.4 million. All of these scenarios will get you your target. I've picked one in the middle and said, okay, we need to be pricing 30, 30 jobs at 2.4 million each per year I'm talking about. And then that's what it is putting down here. So in order to price 30 jobs, which is there per year at 2.4 million each, you will need to be pricing 2.5 jobs per month. Don't ask me how you price 0.5 job, but anyway, just work with it. So now in order to price 2.5 jobs per month, where are these leads going to come from? How many leads are required to meet your quoting target? We go down to the next tab, which is your lead funnel. Lead funnel basically means the source of work. Where does, where do all your leads come from? Uh, it could be word of mouth for a lot of you. The problem with word of mouth is that if you're sick for three months, six months, there's no word of mouth and uh, workload dries up, etc., etc. Unless you've got a good management structure in place, you've got salespeople, etc., then it carries on. Uh, column B, you put down here where your current leads are coming from, anything and everything, whatever comes to your mind that you've used previously or you would like to use in future. And then you can put down a, a timeline of your target of how you're going to increase those if that's your goal to increase if it isn't to increase that's no worry about it and then how many leads you might get from that avenue and then how is what is the conversion rate from that particular marketing campaign or, or system and that's your conversion rate so this isn't that important but it was more getting you to understand how many jobs you need to be pricing in order to get to your actual target revenue that uh, you're projecting so that was it. Hopefully that's of some use uh, to you. And if you need a copy of this Excel sheet, I'll put down a link below so you can contact me and I'll send it through to you. No problems at all. Hopefully it's useful. Cheers.